Entrepreneur, this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled How to Market Your Business Effectively After the Sale. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget or neglect your all important exit strategy. This is installment number three. Entrepreneur, in this video, you are going to discover how to effectively market your business just like the ultimate insiders do. It's just a matter of you getting the right mindset. Now, as you recall, in part uh, two, we talked about a specific strategy involving what I like to call triangulation. That is, we have the cruise ship, we have the jeweler, and we have the uh, clothing designer. And they're giving a fashion show on the deck. So here's what we said. Since they already have a list of you know all the passengers and who's in what uh, cabinet, they're simply going to go knock on doors and every female that's over 18 years old she's going to get one $200 diamond studded earring and a little card told that uh, that there's going to be a fashion show on the deck and as long as she shows up just for showing up she gets the other $200 diamond studded earring a $400 value now I want you to stop and think about something right here ladies and gentlemen if it goes no further than right here do you not realize going forward every time that female puts on those earrings that's a walking billboard and advertising for that jeweler or if, let's say if it was a scarf or something you know the, they were wearing some of the fashion designers clothes same concept but what I'm trying to get you to understand is the time it's going to take you to watch this to listen and watch this video entrepreneur a local television ad is run that you didn't see and a, a radio ad ran that you didn't see and if you don't open your newspaper for two days there was some you know one day sale in there you didn't get to take advantage of now my question to you is this when they spend money on that local radio ad once the ad runs where's the residual effect there is none but I challenge you to tell me that somebody walking around with a $400 pair of diamond studded earrings is not going to draw attention and remember we're talking about a person that comes from a six figure income that probably knows other people in this case women who earn at least that much these women are secretaries doctors lawyers accountants CPAs mothers grandmothers sisters wives girlfriends you cannot tell me those earrings aren't going to attract attention now with that said here's what I want you to think about we're going to show you now how to take this concept and at least three more profitable ways create multiple streams of income here is the first thing that you're going to do every woman as we said before that spends at least five hundred dollars at this fashion show they automatically go into a drawing and let's suppose um, whoever the top uh, the, the woman who's chosen excuse me who uh, let's say there's 150 women at this fashion show and 20 of them spend at least five hundred dollars you know because let's face it everybody's credit card is maxed out at a different amount they may not have much available cash after booking the cruise etc etc et so you know it's gonna vary but the point is the top 15 is spend spend at least five hundred dollars they automatically go into this drawing now the person the woman that wins the grand prize she's gonna get five hundred dollars back in cash plus five hundred dollars in accessories from this jeweler in other words it could be a combination of earrings and a necklace or, or, or two bracelets whatever they want to do let them do it because remember they're a walking billboard now the point is what about the other 14 you don't leave them hanging they get a nice VIP discounted coupon card that's time sensitive that they get to come in on their next three visits and save 25 percent now here's the next concept this is powerful whichever woman in the entire group spends the most money unbeknownst to them now you don't you don't advertise this they automatically get a twenty five hundred dollar diamond studded necklace again which one of these that ad 
that $25,000 newspaper ad, the local paper, that $25,000 radio ad campaign, that $25,000 television ad campaign, or somebody walking around every time they go to a social event with a $2,500 diamond studded necklace. Which one is going to give the most long term residual effect, do you think? There you go. Now that jeweler can pin, give that away each cruise and guess what's going to happen? Those women, even the ones who don't win, are going to take pictures of it. They're going to tweet about it and they're going to mention it on Facebook and every time they're at a social event, they're going to talk about it, which means which cruise ship do you think going forward is going to get the business? That's why the cruise ship should be doing it. Which uh, jeweler is going to become the jeweler of choice? That's why they should be doing it. And the fashion designer is getting a direct link to women that make a six-figure income and the gentlemen are being exposed to all this. And guys, don't worry. We got you covered too in some future videos. But for now, we want to focus on the ladies because guys, I'm sorry to tell you, the ladies have a powerful technique they use called F-Y-L. Flap your lips. Don't talk. You guys have a tendency to not talk. Now, here's the third part and leg of this thing the jeweler and the fashion designer are savvy so they're going to take five thousand dollars worth of their goodies i'm just I'm, that's an arbitrary figure ladies and gentlemen your figure might be a thousand it might be a hundred doesn't matter it could be a printer doing the same thing you're going to take five thousand dollars worth of your goodies and you're going to sell them at actual cost why mark where's the profit in that residually if you got 300 women walking around with a $200 bracelet that retails for $200 that really only costs a jeweler $60 and the jeweler sells it for $60, you still got 300 bill, uh, billboards working for you. That's the point. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to ask and insist that you do me a favor at this point. If after you, if this is your third time watching this one particular series and to this point you still don't get it or, you know, what, I don't think this is going to work for me, then you need to do me a favor. I can't help you. Please do not waste any more of your time listening to Mr. Marketing. It's obvious we are not a match. So with that said, for those of you who want to discover how you're going to add an additional 25%, more gross profit to your bottom line entrepreneur you want to do so in the next 90 days or less because you're sick and tired of having to constantly chase new customers and clients because it's outrageously expensive and it's one of the reasons why 88 percent of all small businesses fail within the first five years or less if you understand that and you don't want to go down that road then you need to grab your free nine page special report and don't just download it read it and apply it ladies and gentlemen now here's the next thing Oh, and by the way, you just go to youcanmarketonlinenow.com forward slash sales. That's where you get it. But here's the other thing. Who else do you know in business, ladies and gentlemen, who's struggling right now, could use some help? That being the case, help them out. Forward this video to them. They'll thank you for it later. Now, if you're ready to go to the next level, then you need to grab your free 22-part Small Business Marketing Mastery Series. It's an additional free 22 email sequential lessons. It's a $97 value. It's my free gift to you. It's my way of saying, hey, thank you and welcome to the Inner Circle. But I want you to know something, ladies and gentlemen. If you join the Inner Circle and the information you get exposed to in this series and the free nine page special report, if it doesn't help you do what I say it can help you do, you know, within a reasonable amount of time and provided you apply what's in there, then I want you to feel free for whatever reason you want to unsubscribe any time you wish. This is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Looking forward to being with you again, entrepreneur, next time on the Marketing Minute.